Christian Pupulin, the technical manager for Jack Miller at KTM, will join Honda in 2025 and take Giacomo Guidotti's seat on Luca Marini's side of the garage. Now that the rider market has calmed down following some shocking news surrounding the Italian Grand Prix, attention is turning to some of the top engineers competing on the grid. The most frequent occurrence in these situations, aside from Fabiano Sterlachini, who declined to extend his contract with KTM due to personal reasons, is the engineers and technicians movement from garage to garage, frequently accompanying the riders who require their services. That isn't the case, though, with Pupilin, who joined KTM a year and a half ago after working with elite riders like Andrea Dovizioso and Nicky Hayden for nearly a lifetime at Ducati. It has been reported that the Australian will leave KTM at the end of the 2024 season and join Honda in 2025 to take on a new position as Marini's bike's chief engineer. Marini has been collaborating with Guidotti since commencing a new chapter with HRC at the beginning of 2024. Guidotti joined the Japanese Mark brand in 2017 and has since engineered players like Donny Pedrosa, Joan Mir, and Takaki Nakagami, the latter of whom is part of the satellite LCR squad. It's important to note that during his negotiations with Honda, Marini requested that HRC offer him the chance to collaborate with Santi Hernandez, who up until then had played a significant role in Marc Marquez's support system. Hernandez was the target of Marquez's failed attempt to bring him along. That's when Mir requested that Honda assign Hernandez to him, and the Japanese automaker granted his request. January the end, Guidotti worked with Marini, although Pupilin will be the new engineer starting January 2025. There will be other significant changes in 2025 besides the brand transition for Pipi, as the aeronautical engineer is affectionately called in the paddock. When Marquez takes over for Enea Bastianini at the factory Ducati team next year, he will succeed Marco Rigamonti as track engineer. Reunited with Alberto Giribuola, who oversaw the maintenance of his satellite Ducati bike at Grassini, Bastianini is relocating to Tech 3 KTM. Later, Giribuola became an engineering coordinator for KTM and worked for the Austrian company until the end. Maverick Vinales will receive assistance from Jose Manuel Cazo across the Tech 3 garage. After Vinales's MotoGP debut alongside Cazo at Suzuki in 2015, the latter was brought in to join Aprilia. It's unclear who at Aprilia will be in charge of helping Jorge Martin adjust to the RSGP. Daniele Romagnoli, who presently joins the Spaniard at Pramac, is one of the leading contenders for the position. Even though he is under contract with Ducati, the company has already informed him that he will not be needed in 2025 for the Borgo Panigale. Antonio Jimenez, an engineer in negotiations with Honda to join Alex Espargaro's team, who will be the brand's test rider next year, is another engineer expected to switch brands. Who will help Marco Bezzecchi arrive at Aprilia is still a mystery, particularly if Cazo departs with Vinales. David Munoz, who made his MotoGP debut in 2021 following a call-up from Valentino Rossi, is one of the most sought-after names. The Spaniard is now employed by VR46 alongside Fabio Di Gianantonio, and as part of his current position, he is expected to land a factory GP25 next year. The technician's most likely destination, though, is Pramac, which will start racing Yamaha motorcycles in the upcoming season. KTM has deduced the possible primary cause of Jack Miller's appalling performance slump in the 2024 MotoGP season. Miller only managed to crack inside the top 10 once before the summer break, according to the Austrian manufacturer, which may be explained by vibration concerns resulting from both the new Michelin compounds and the most recent RC16 specification. Brad Binder and Pedro Acosta, the KTM stablemates, finished on the podium at the start of the year, but Miller hasn't surpassed the fifth-place finish he earned in Portugal under somewhat fortunate circumstances. After scoring 90 points by the same time in the championship last year, this has dropped the Australian to 16th position in the standings with just 35 points. Several riders experienced chattering problems as the 2024 MotoGP season got underway in Qatar in March, but as the season progressed and riders found solutions, the issue became less frequent. But according to KTM, vibration on both bikes prevents Miller and Gas Gas Tech 3 rider Augusto Fernandez from getting the kind of performance they are capable of, thus they both continue to lose out. KTM team manager Francesco Guidotti stated, Miller is the one who is suffering more from the vibrations of the new package than the others. That's the bundle. Since the start of the year, vibrations have been a problem for us. 
the new package is to blame for them. Like Augusto, Jack is currently experiencing severe vibrations. He is unable to fully utilize the bike's capability to the extent that he would like to. As part of a rider lineup change, KTM has dropped Miller for the 2025 season. Acosta will join Miller in the factory squad, while Tech 3 has signed Enea Bastianini from Ducati and Maverick Vinales from Aprilia. Before doing a cruel U-turn and telling the 20-year-old that he won't be getting a new contract, KTM had first quietly stated that it wanted to keep him on the squad for a second stint. Fernandez has also failed to live up to expectations in his sophomore year, and the Pierre Mobility Group has let him go. In an effort to impress rival manufacturers and prolong his career in the top class, KTM is hoping that Miller will have even more fire inside of him. It won't give up, Gudotti declared. We're going to keep trying until the end of the season, but for now, our attention is on the races left this year. We are here to win, after all. He'll undoubtedly want to demonstrate that we were wrong to deny him another opportunity. He will undoubtedly want to demonstrate his worthiness for a ride in the MotoGP field, if not with one brand, then with another. I find it quite hard to think he will give up. He'll want to finish his MotoGP riding with delight. Jack Miller has been candid about the likelihood that he won't be competing in the MotoGP next year. Miller will be replaced in 2025 by Pedro Acosta, who is incredibly talented, in KTM's factory team. A few hours before to the public announcement that Enea Bastianini and Maverick Vinales had been signed up, he had anticipated a swap and to move into the Tech 3 garage. Miller's future is in shambles, with not many alternatives left on the table. Miller said to Motosan, My plan is yes, I would love to be one, when asked if he still hoped to be a MotoGP rider in 2025. I'd like to be present. This is where I envision myself, nowhere else. At the end of the day, I think that I'm still improving. In addition, I'm just 29 years old. The issue stems from the fact that I first attended MotoGP at the age of 19. I'm getting older, but people still remember me from a long time ago. At 35 years old, Johan Zarco will be the oldest rider in the MotoGP field next year. Marc Marquez will be the youngest at 32. Miller responds, Exactly. You're still younger. However, I feel as though my physical, mental, and overall strength is increasing. I thus wish to be present. I feel like I would be disappointed if my career stopped tomorrow? No. Because I feel hungry and want to pursue more, even though I have accomplished more than I could have ever dreamed. Before I give up, I want more podiums, more victories, whatever, more competitive races. Miller emphasized that he won't hold grudges if his MotoGP career does end shortly. Brad Binder, a teammate who rode a KTM for the first time last season, outperformed Miller. This year, Acosta's impressive success has increased pressure on other KTM riders, but a strong start with a P5 in Portimao has never happened again. Grassini Ducati and VR46 Ducati are two teams that currently have openings for 2025. However, Miller is not predicted to join any of those teams. Although they haven't signed a rider yet, LCR and Repsol Honda will probably stick with their current lineup. Alex Rins will be re-signed by Yamaha's factory squad, as previously announced. Miller's sole remaining options for a new ride are Promac Yamaha or Trackhouse Aprilia. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos of MotoGP. Thanks for watching.